Okay, admittedly not the cheetah I was looking for, but something very exciting nevertheless. We have got a serval, and I, as I sent you across to Tristan, I saw it and slammed on my brakes, and it's hunting. It's after something. Unfortunately, if I reposition now, I think it's going to disappear. But this is the same. I'm almost certain this is our, the same serval as before, Manu. We're in almost the same area, the one that we saw kill a, a small rodent. I'm sure it's the same one. It is so relaxed around vehicles. It's such a pleasure. You can see it. Oh, oh, what are you doing? I want to see if it's going to do that really incredible spring that Serval are renowned for. They're spectacular jumpers. Okay, so we've got a mini cheetah. Can't complain about that. Little tail flicking. So for those of you that are unfamiliar with servals, it's essentially about, mm, I'd say twice the size of your average house cat. Not, oh, there goes, leaping into the grass. That was a surprise. Let's see if, it, let's see if it's caught something. Hold on. I think I just heard a little squeak. Heads up. Okay, I think it's a girl. Looked like a girl to me. I think it's a female. Hey, girl. Gremlins General, you say poor rabbit. Look at this. Look how close she's, and it is a girl. Look how close she's let us get. Isn't this amazing? I don't know if it was a rabbit. <laughs> poor rabbit. I don't know what it was. She's got something, though. Come on. Those massive ears. I don't want her to feel uncomfortable while she's trying to consume her meal, but she seems to be quite relaxed. She is glancing back at us. Exquisite creatures. What did you catch? She definitely got something. I don't know what it was. Oh, there she goes. There, it's another rodent. Another bushfalt gerbil by the looks of things. That's a proper catch for the serval. How stunning is this? Manu, what is it with us in serval hunts, eh? It's going to start to become a thing. So this is the, the Lage and Love serval. She's always around here. She is. Now, lots of you saying that she is very pretty. She is, isn't she? She's absolutely gorgeous. She's, of course... Oh, oh is it still alive? She's playing with her food now. I think she might be in a very cat-like way. Did you just lose it? No, no, there it is. She is. She's playing with it. Oh, shame. Just like your house cats do at home when they catch themselves a, a hapless rodent. That's exactly what she's doing. <laughs> That's just natural instinct. Roshni, you say she seems nervous. I don't think so, Roshni. I, I think initially she did move that away from us. Uh, just a little bit into the grass. She's not nervous of us. I actually think she's quite hyped up. She's quite. She's having fun with it. Look, she's let it go, and then she's catching it once again. So she's... I'm sure those of you with house cats will have seen this behavior before. It's basically... It's instinct, and it's a great way for them to practice their skills. And you might find... Uh, she doesn't look that young, but she might be quite young. In which case, this is a great way for her to essentially hone her hunting technique. I don't think she's nervous. She's twitchy, but that's because she's excited and she's playing with it. James, absolutely. We are so spoiled with the serval sightings in the Mara. They just are so much more relaxed here. And actually, servals are quite easy to habituate if you can find them. Oh, pounce again. You see, she's letting it go, she's letting it think that it's free, and then she pounces and grabs it again. 
And they are quite, they're like cheetah in that respect. They, they get relaxed around people quite quickly. And I suspect if we had the time and we could track them, which of course we can't, they would habituate very quickly to people on foot as well, which would be astounding to be able to follow a serval around. She got it again. Oh, shame. Stop torturing the poor thing. It's always hard to watch, but that's very much a human perspective. From her perspective, this is her afternoon game plus a meal. Deadhead Tom, and much like Cheetah, yes, a serval do domesticate very easily. And there is a breed of cat called a savanna cat because they are closely related. They're in the same family um, and the same genus as domestic cats. They are able to reproduce with domestic cats. And there's a type of cat called a savanna cat, which is kind of a mixture of a serval and a, and a domestic cat. Personally, and I, we often go on about this, it's been a while since we've done the the talk about it personally and i think we all feel the same i really don't believe in that sort of thing oh there we go she's finally eating it i think it's i think it's human it's basically a human ego boost to want to have an exotic pet or exotic animal as a pet we've got cats we've got dogs they've been domesticated for tens of thousands of years in certain cases they need us and that's fine though you know We've got companionship in the form of pets. We really don't need to add wild animals to our list. They belong wild. But yes, people have domesticated servals. I actually know people who've raised serval. And just an important lesson, serval are okay to domesticate. They tend to be like cheetah. They tend to be quite even-tempered. Caracal, which is the other medium-sized cat, well, I know I, all of the cases I know have ended in tragedy with domesticated caracal just like that entire rodent swallowed whole you are going to cough up one big hairball i imagine oh she's exquisite isn't she the grace and the lines of her body so this is for roshni who's saying that she looks nervous she's walking right at us now or right next to us She's going to walk right past the car, not quite right past the car, but right in front of us. Oh, wow. Look at this. Right, well, there's our afternoon plan for now. Sina, I'm not sure how old this cat is. It's fully grown. She is fully grown, and she seems to have a territory here. I'm pretty sure it's her, but just like Cheetah, actually, here's a really good idea. I hope that those of you with, um, who are watching have got some screenshots to share on hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. I don't because my, I don't have a camera because Brent's got my lens, naturally. His is broken. So if you get screenshots of her spot patterns, we can actually determine with absolute certainty if it's the same serval that we saw hunting the other night. Oh, because they're quite a while ago now. Uh, what are we talking about? Oh, her age. I think she's established, but I don't know how old she is. Janet, you say you've never seen you've never seen a serval on camera before. Well, there you go. I'm very glad to have provided you with this opportunity. And Manu, of course, doing an amazing job. Look at that, she's stalking down the road just like a cheetah. I am going to stick with our serval for as long as possible. Oh, beautiful. While she wanders down the road and I catch up, let's go back over to Brent, who has found one of the most iconic male lions in the world.